Hey, welcome back to Adventure Streaming, guys. I thought I would do an update on what I carry in my trail bags when I'm snowmobiling. So, this is just for trail riders. I've done a few updates since the last time I did a video a few years ago. I'm bending down here because I got the camera set up. So, um, you can see everything. So, I'm just going to kind of go over everything. And what this doesn't include is the typical clutch tool, shock adjuster, and that tool that you use to separate the, the secondary to go ahead and adjust your belt, etc. I keep those either in my glove compartment or in the uh, back of my seat. So, but this is everything else that I carry. So let me go over it. <clears throat> All right, we'll go left to right. So I have, this is one of my bags, and this is one of my bags. This one's an older one that I have. It carries a lot. I actually carry two spare belts in there in case me or a buddy or somebody doesn't have one. This one I like <clears throat> can actually carry a shovel. This is pretty cool. The handle goes on the outside. This bag carries a shovel. Believe it or not, for trail riding, I've used this many times to get people out uh, of the side of the bank if they go off the trail. Uh, it's been helpful and the shovel is pretty inexpensive, like 15, 20 bucks on, uh, online. It's aluminum. I've had this thing probably six, seven years now. All right, so left to right, I carry some plastic bags. Carry something to start a fire with. I carry a flashlight. I'm gonna put new Ziploc bags on all this stuff. I carry a couple extra clothes. I carry spare gloves in case they get wet, a spare baklava in case you gotta dig somebody out. We all know you get soaked when you do that. Sometimes it's nice to put a new one on. Zip ties. You break a A-arm, uh, you break something, these things will get you out of the woods, get you, get you back. Um, I usually carry a couple of bigger ones as well. So what I've updated as well from last time is a more complete first aid kit. This has a, a splint, one of these um, rubber type splints that you can wrap around. I don't know if you can see that. You can get these online, you know, um, hikers, etc. Trauma. So I have a trauma dressing in here. A thing for a broken bone, right? A splint. I also have two tourniquets. There's a one tourniquet in here, and here's another one. So tourniquets are new. So is the splint. Right? You could actually apply the tourniquet to yourself. Um, if there was a compound fracture, you could save somebody's life, somebody's limb. You could actually apply this to your friend as well. There's plenty of videos on how to use these things. So I've been carrying these as well with my side by side hand warmers. Couple of heater blankets, space blankets. Those are, those are good if you broke down, not only to be seen, but they will help you with some warmth. I carry this little container. I keep a, a lighter in it. It's a little Swiss Army knife as well. Try to carry a map where, wherever I am, a paper map as well. We went over the tourniquet, there's one in there. I carry some of these glow sticks. These are great to identify yourself on the side of the trail. If you ever had to leave a, leave a uh, sled on the side of the trail, you can put this on a tree because I'm assuming that you're going to be way off the trail or your buddy would be. So if somebody's coming to help you or the groomer, you can hang this off of a tree limb that's right on the trail to mark things. And also I've used it to mark hazards. Toilet paper, self-explanatory, but also can be used to start fires. A tow rope. So this is a 2,000 pound strength, tinsel strength, and I've used this for multiple reasons. I can't tell you how many times I've used this. And I throw a bowling on here with a pretty heavy D-ring. I think this is uh, 800 pounds, 1,000 pound D-ring. Um, this has been helpful to tow people, pull them out of the bank, or whatever. Uh, I also upgraded, so I, I carry some type of a GPS with an emergency beacon on it. Uh, this is my newer one, the Garmin GPS 86 SCI, and this is my inReach. Uh, be honest with you, <laughs> I like the inReach a little bit better. It's a little simpler to use, but I've started to use that 
you need to try to have that on your body. If you ever get thrown off your sled, right, it's going to be hard to get back to your sled if you're injured. And what I like about that is you can have people tracking you if you want. You can send satellite text messages and there's an emergency button that sends out to the nearest emergency reaction team in your area and it gives them the GPS coordinates. Always a spare belt, minimum. Use some type of a buck saw. I've used this many times. You go into some trees, you get your skis stuck in it, the spindles. It's easier just to cut some of the limbs off. Spare starter rope. It's not gonna help on a four stroke, but uh, I've had this with me forever. It doesn't take up much space. Duct tape, right? We all know duct tape can do wonders on anything. Broken windshields to tying up spindles, fixing seats, uh, fixing boots, fixing uh, rips and jackets. Gotta have that. I'll put a Ziploc bag on it. I also use a compass. When I say use it, I carry this with me. This is an old one I had in the Army. But this thing will work in case I need to, I don't have any electronics on me, my phone's dead or, you know, between this and this, I'm good. I carry a spare phone cable with the sleds we ride now. Most of you guys, right, you're connecting your phone to it, etc. Can't tell you myself or others have lost it. And uh, it's good to have a spare. It's an old one. I've done some, uh, put some heat shrink on there because that's where they typically crack. My old video, you heard me do that, but some more, uh, I think these are actually paper towels and tampons. Great to start fires. You can dip it into your tank. Um, good to have. I always carry a siphon. This is one of those that you can put in and you pump up and down like this with your hand. And, you know, get a couple of gallons out to your buddy's tank or into yours. And then also a bandage, some tape. So in case somebody needs you, you need to put that splint on or you, somebody else is hurt or whatever. Uh, two other things I forgot to mention were fuses. So I keep them in just a pill bottle, put the fuses in there. Then I put some paper towels in the top so they don't shake around. But I got fuses. Um, this is for my four stroke. Uh, I also have fuses for my, uh, my two stroke. And then I also carry a spare helmet cord. I, I run the oxygen helmet. I've had issues with the power cords, but it's always good if you have a heated shield or you need a cord for your helmet, just carry a spare. Can't tell you how many times they've broken or got lost. I carry a little roll-up tool bag. I don't have it with me. It's still on my side-by-side, -side, but it's not heavy. It probably weighs about three pounds. This is basically the essentials of what I bring. I just trail ride. And I found this to be the most helpful. But I'll tell you what, these are expensive to start with, 400 bucks, something like that. However, the monthly fee is, you know, I, I only turn it on and off the fee so I can talk to the satellites when I use it. So I'll be using it for three or four months this winter. I'll pay for the monthly service. And the monthly service is reasonable. It's anywhere from like $25 to $35, depending upon how many messages you want to be able to send and receive, et cetera. There's an unlimited one. But for 30, I'm just going to call it 30 bucks. The safety that you get with one of these is pretty amazing. And I do ride a lot by myself um, in very remote areas. I mean, this year I'm going to be very remote. So uh, I'll make sure I'll have one of these on me at all times. So uh, in your comments, right, I mean, Everybody's got their own thing. Uh, I've gotten a few questions. Hey, do an update on your video, etc. And if there's anything essential that you think we should have, uh, let me know. But until next time, enjoy your adventures. Have a great and safe riding season.